I wasn't even sure where I should begin with this other than saying the game Bust a Move is a fun game. More apical to like, I guess you could say Candy Crush, but it is very addicting. As I shot the gameplay footage for this, I soon realized I killed an hour without realizing it. It's just that kind of addictiveness. Now, with that out of the way, I do have to say this game had a hell of a identity crisis in terms of its name. It originally came out in 1996 in Japan, 97 on the Saturn, and it and up to 98 in Europe, 99 in the U.S., but they couldn't just call it uh, Bust a Move 3, or as a Japanese name, pu uh, Puzzle Bobble 3. No. This game has had several different names, and I do not understand why they had to make such distinctions. The names of this game are listed as followed. Puzzle Bobble 3. Bust a Move 3. Bust a Move 3 DX. Puzzle Bobble 64. Obviously Nintendo 64 and Bust a Move 99. Out of all those names, why Bust a Move 99 was an exclusive PlayStation 1 for like the United States, I have no idea. I mean, yes, the game did come out technically in 99, but it's evident by the time you look at the game that the game was very not 99 looking. It looked like something that came out two or three years earlier because it did. It was originally an arcade game that came out in 1996 and then it was released on the Saturn in 97 and then it was even released in North America on the Saturn known as Busta Move 3. So why the hell did they change this name to Busta Move 99? It blows my mind why it, the big, that's the biggest thing I'm gonna you're probably going to take away from this is this game have, game has so many different names to it that if you were to google bust a move 3 or not bust a move 3 if you were to google bust a move 99 you're the first thing that's going to come up is bobble is puzzle bobble 3 which confuses the shit out of me because especially if you're looking for the game and then that comes up i was completely lost and i had to actually read to find that it was identifying as technically i guess the internet is calling it or google is for that matter puzzle bobble 3. so uh, the name itself confuses the shit out of me but i will say i passed on this game back when i was a teenager because it didn't seem it wasn't metal gear solid it seemed boring puzzled what have not and over the past couple years for the hell of it i just kind of downloaded it and started playing it and I realized why there were people going ape shit over this game or should I say the reason why because once you play the game you don't want to stop I mean for as many times as I continued and you know essentially quote unquote died or bobbled out or whatever I found myself more and more just wanting to get back to it and <laughs> It's one of those addictive games where I couldn't really understand why I was playing it. All I know was I was frustrated, but I wanted to try again. It's one of those type of puzzle games that you are concentrating so hard on that you don't realize time is passing. Um, like I said, I equate it to this is like an earlier version of like what Candy Crush and all that other shit is. It's kind of basically the same type of premise, but... I don't know, It's it has something to do with the music, it has something to do with the characters, and I just, I don't this gameplay was just so addicting to me. I have an over almost an hour of gameplay footage that I have no idea why I even recorded it that long. Um, you know, this game in itself does have a couple other modes aside from the arcade mode, or just basically where you're going up against, not the computer, but just time and the thing coming down on you and you have to figure your way out of it but the head-to-head -head is probably the best aspect of the game because it really makes you think on the fly so it, this game is just really addicting I, I don't know there's there's not much I can really say about this it, this isn't necessarily a review it's just as I was playing it I realized this game was fun as hell because I always wanted to talk about it more or less just the names that this game has in it. If anything I can say is just try the game because this game essentially is like fucking crack. Because once you try it you're either gonna do one or two things. You're either gonna hate it or you're gonna find yourself keep going back to it. 
Uh, probably last year I played this game for six hours straight and the time just flew on by. And I kept finding myself turning on this game. I'd get bored and I'd turn on this game. Play. I would play through the arcade mode, which usually takes about 20 minutes, half an hour, depending on how good you are. I sucked ass and apparently it took me like 45 minutes. Been a while. But this game is truly addicting. I would, this, if anything, there's, if there's one game, I would say play this game. But just note that this game has a fucking identity crisis when it comes to its name. Yes, it's known as Puzzle Bobble 3. It's known as Bust a Move 3. It's known as Puzzle Bobble 64. It's known as Puzzle Bobble DX. Bust a Move 99. So, any of those are this exact same game regardless of what the title screen may say. I guess all in all, there was some improved graphics from the different versions that have come out. But aside from that, I can't really see how much more they can change it unless they just change the resolution of the game. All right, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so very much for watching, and goodbye. Thank you so very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification to be notified whenever I upload new content. I'm always uploading new content, sometimes twice a day, sometimes three times a week, sometimes seven days a week. Never know when I'll drop new content, so hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon to be notified when I drop my new content.